What's going on everybody? Um, today we are going to be doing a fort video because we have not been doing those in a lot, very long time. So today since it is nicer outside it is going to be an outdoor fort video. So now that we're down at the site um, we got our chair, our table. Um, it's a little bit overgrown. I haven't been here since last fall, winter. So yeah, it's not very updated, but that'll hopefully change. Um, so the fort is going to be planned about right here in between these three trees. The reason for that is because if you're going to do an outdoor fort in the woods especially, you're going to look for try to look for this kind of configuration where there's three trees right there. And so... It's a very strong uh, pattern, so that's what you're gonna want. And you don't, you're not gonna necessarily nail it in. You could use wood screws like we did right there with that hook. Um, you could, you, basically, a wood screw isn't gonna hurt the tree, but you could really use anything. And if it had a branch, a lower branch, which these don't, that would be fine. That would be sturdy enough. But what we're aiming for, so that the, it's a little bit slanted. So that we're gonna get a uh, on balanced, uh, you know, floor. We're gonna have to try to do a little dugout here. But the problem for that, there is a huge rock right there, and we haven't been able to get that out. So this is a good place to build a fort, just not a dugout. So yeah. But don't worry, guys. We're gonna be making a part two of this. So we will have the um, foresting outdoor fort. Hopefully done within the next week or two. Um, we're going to try to see what we can do with it. And we'll probably do a tour and a tutorial on what to do when you're in that kind of scenario. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys.